Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to try and do this in something, some kind of an organized fashion. I'm going to put my glasses on, set my extremely painty timer, make sure it's going. Yay! These are Arteza Metallics. And my intention is to do something, wait for it, similar to this. So, I have already pre primed a 15 inch by 30 inch canvas, and that dog hair is not necessarily part of this process, but I'll wipe it off. So I wanted to read you the colors, and I could do them right off the bottles. That was a pearl marmalade. That is an Aztec gold. That is the pearl space gray. This is the pearl white, which I'm looking forward to trying. Pearl deep brown. That is just gold, and it says mica next to it. This is silver. That is bronze. And those colors are right over there already mixed up, and you'll see them in a second. I'm going to get these out of here. Right into my trash can, actually. And those colors are all on the back of this package, so if you need to screenshot and zoom in, you can see them. Anyway, so... I have pans to put color in. I'm not sure I'm going to do that or not. But I do have a shovel over here, a dustpan over there, a homemade scoop over here, and a butter dish from somewhere. And I have things to rest them in so they'll hold paint. I really think that I'm going to start by adding a copious amount of paint into my dustpan, which this little pan holds up perfectly. And I'm going to shake briefly. I mixed these two days ago. This is my regular recipe. My pouring recipe is underneath the video. Underneath show more. So that's the pearl. And it looks pretty good from here. <laughs> that's the silver. I'm going to leave my little caps off. I bought brand new bottles just for Arteza. This is the space gray, I believe. And I'm Enjoying seeing these for the first time with you guys. Oh, I even got some cells in there, which is kind of interesting. That is not mixed well enough. I use a ball bearing, a steel, stainless steel ball bearing. That must be that bronze. I am thinking that this is the gold mica. Which I really think I'm going to use more of than anything, more than likely. Pretty sure that this is the Aztec Gold, which I'm looking forward to seeing next to the other one. It's ever so slightly different. I will be putting some... This is the Marmalade, which is very similar to Copper, of course. I have some tweezers, and I'm going to grab them right out of my little bucket. If I can find them in the bottom, I know you're in there. Now I have one wet hand and a slightly spattered canvas. But I thought I saw something that did not belong, which is weird because this is all fresh and I have a Floatrol sieve cap on my Floatrol. I bought it. It's on my Amazon link should you happen to want that. I'm thinking of squeezing some black in there. This has to be the bronze. And I really am looking forward to using all of these colors at least once on one wide swath in a zigzagging, free-flowing, fun and funky pattern across my canvas. I am going to throw a little bit more of that, what I'm assuming is just the regular gold that said mica on the label. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm, I want to grab some enamel, but I think I'm just going to give myself some more black. That's my own black mixture. I'll throw a little white in there. Pull that down. Hope that's enough paint. Wipe off my splatter. Hopefully my, my handy dandy damp paper towel won't leave anything behind that's not good. I don't think that amount of water is going to be a problem. So I really want to get all of that lint off of my canvas. My dog snuck in snuck into my studio. 
So I'm going to give myself some extra black paint just to flow other paint on. And I'm not going to let it worry me as far as being in my way. Let that relax over the edge somewhat. I'm going to let this end relax right down into that dustpan again, I think. This is a lot more organic looking than what I had in mind, but that's okay. I can work with that. I'm going to take some of my paint colors right out of my dustpan with my shovel, which seems like a pretty good container to grab paint colors out of. I'm going to let that go right down over the edge, using the edge of the shovel to sort of nudge it down, and using my container underneath to catch it. So I like that fine. Let me grab another container. Will that work? No. What will work? What will work is this. No, it won't. <laughs> this will work. I know that will work. Right there. So what do I like in here? I like that bronze. It's a rather large con canvas. I want to play with the Aztec gold. And I like what the pearl looks like. And I really like that marmalade. But some regular gold again will be all right. And, and why don't we just go for everything? Now, I could stir that up a little bit, but I don't think I want to. I just have to decide to not leave my bottles in my way. that it's okay to dribble. And I think I might do a whole lot more dribbling. And maybe a little more tilting too. I'm pretty sure I could start this way and do a great swipe if I wanted to. I'm sort of looking at where the colors are flowing. I did use that extra black. I can grab a Princeton Archie Gala spatula and I can nudge or pull whatever I want. I can even dip, dip and drag, which is okay with me. Remember the last time I did something that looked similar, it was a lot less organic and a lot more angular. join those two little areas so they look like they should go together. I'm going to grab some more gold which will probably dry quite a bit different. I like the jagged little edges that dragging the shovel leaves. And I've been looking forward to using just solid colors along with other things. I thought if I put my paints in my bucket, they'd stay out of my way. All right, so I like that. Sorry about the spinning. And I'm going to use the two golds together again with some copper. my shovel up, let it release its contents. So it's nothing like the last painting I did. That was my wastebasket falling over, sorry. But I'm still having a good time and it might be really neat. 
I kind of want to use my pan and put some colors in there again. And maybe you can see that. I know it's on the dark side. It's on the dark side. I'm going to throw a little bit of my black in there, which will be shiny, like the background. So there's just black, gray, and the residual from the shovel. And putting it in another container, I like doing that because that means I get some mixing. And I see that thing that does not belong, and I have no idea how it got there. But it could have come out of the black easily enough. So if I give myself a little more white, I'm never a big fan of these bottles with caps on them because they always seem to be kind of in the way. But I figured I'd give it a shot again. These came off my Amazon link. My Amazon link is right below Show More. Excuse me. It's right below Show More on the Linktree link. And there's all kinds of great stuff there. Just following along that little black edge. And I could dot, and I may. It's kind of strange going going over here for every scoopful, but I'm just squeezing miscellaneous colors in. And I know if I want, I can definitely use a skewer. I just want to keep them out of the way. And then I have to decide what I might want to do. And I like that black right there. So I'm going to tip that so it crosses over. I'm thinking about putting some ribbons in the end, adding some ribbons to the, to the composition in the end. I like where the paint is going very much, in fact. I'm just not done by any stretch of the imagination. I want to bring all those paints over somewhere else on this side. I'm going to try not to empty my shovel too much. Leave some paint in the bottom of it. There, that's a def a, a definitely an interesting shape. More interesting than what I've got so far. I found some paint with my foot. I should wear shoes in here, maybe. Maybe. Come on, you know you want to drip. Yeah, I like the dots. So far so good. I'm not minding it a bit. I am thinking that it would be maybe nice to be able to take some of the gold and just send it right up there. Use the corner of my shovel. Add a few dots. I like this copper here and I like that shape over there, so I think I'm going to go for something that will, I think, more copper. Without that cap in the way, please. Whoops, <laughs> now I've got more paint to step in. I better be careful. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try and let my shovel empty itself over the edge of the canvas on this corner that's probably not within your vision. So I'm beginning to like this a lot. And I think in the end, 
I will just look at what I have and decide where I want something else to go. I'm quiet because I'm focused. If I've got a solid cover, color like this gold, I can just leave that over the edge. I kind of like this black space down here. What else do I want to do? I kind of want... Some white to leave that. That's a good line. If I feel like a line is not ending correctly, I'm just going to use a skewer and add a few. Add a line or a mark that links it up with something else. So far, so good. I can't wait to see how these colors dry. As much as I like this mark, this big wide gold mark down here, I think. I want to add something else. I like that. It leads me to believe I want some of that color on this end where some of that linty stuff is. I'll get over there in a second, I promise. So I should tell you guys, I do sell my artwork and my email address is below the video. And if you're interested in Arteza, you should look for the coupon codes below the video because I'm, I'm definitely in Arteza's debt for sending me some art supplies and I appreciate that very much. Arteza, thank you. And uh, I enjoyed using them very much. And I'm gonna probably add some dots in the next two minutes. And that's how long I have before you're going to be gone anyway. So I have to decide what they're going to be. And just go for it. Oh, that one's going to run into the other one. Okay. I didn't put any spirals in here. I don't have any white. I really like this, actually. There, that's not bothering me either. There's some good balance happening here. The eye moves around inside my composition pretty nicely. I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you subscribed, and I really appreciate that. You might be interested in looking on my channel for playlists, solve playlists, creative playlists, find things separated into groups of genre. And by the hundred, there's 1,500 videos there, should you happen to stumble across them, you will find something I hope that might interest you. I like that. I can do my edges with more dots tomorrow. Usually if I put too much paint on the edges, they drip. That might have been one, one mark too many, but there's my little spiral, my signature spiral. I could probably put a couple more of those in and not be unhappy with it. So I probably will do that. So please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. I really appreciate that. Check the, uh, check the end screens for the monthly drawing. Exhibition video will show you what the, what the prizes are. If you happen to be a contributor through PayPal or Patreon, which I really appreciate you guys who have contributed to help keep me painting. It means a lot to me. If you want to help me more, shop, shop the Teespring clothing under the video. Christmas is coming. And... Uh, there's all of print leggings and all of print t-shirts there. The Amazon link 
is also 